because maybe your two fingers are not able to do it. This is a way that you're able to move this around, use it kind of like those old Palm Pilots. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're gonna take a look at Samsung's Quick Tools, also known as Assistant Menu. So how you're able to turn this on is you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you can search for Assistant Menu, or you can go down inside of your accessibility, and inside of accessibility, go to interaction and dexterity. And then this is where you're able to turn on assistant menu. Now, once you turn this on, this little pop-up will come. You can place this anywhere on your screen. For me, mine sits right around there. What I do is I open up my little edge panel and I make sure it's in between these two little icons because these are the ones that I use the majority of the time when I use edge panels. Now with this one, you can check out your assistant menu options. This is where you choose what you want to show up when you open up this little accessibility of quick tools. These are little tools to help you do easy, simple things without having to go anywhere else on the screen. It all pops up in one spot, such as turning off your screen, changing the volume, taking a screenshot, using pinch to zoom. If you're not able to use two fingers at that moment in time, you can do it just by tapping on the screen, change your brightness. You can check out your power options. So instead of you going over here to turn off and do everything else, you can just do it through a simple tap. You can also talk to Bixby. You can move around a cursor if for some reason using a cursor is a little bit easier. Control the screen by changing the screen and going left, right, up, down. And then you can go inside of the menu settings. This is the one that I always suggest to keep on the top because it takes you back into this screen to edit everything. Then you have other ones that you can also turn on, but these are the ones I don't use. Um, I don't need to have notifications panel because I simply swipe down and it's right there. Uh, you can send SOS if you're in emergencies. You can rotate the screen. Here's your back home and recents. You can do magnifying window and you can also open up Bixby, which I don't need to open it um, if I already have Bixby right over here if I'm gonna be able to talk. So that is where you're able to choose what you want to be pretty much turned on or off when you open this up. And you can see that right now there's only two pages. If I added more, then there, there could be three. And then you can also alter these and rearrange them to what is more important. So for me, turning off the screen is really simple, changing the volume and then as well as the uh, screenshots. And then over here, I make sure that I have my menu settings last so I know exactly where and how I can go back to this menu really easy. Then you also have Assistant Plus. So with this one, this is a way that you're able to have more things pop up in this little menu as you go into these applications. So let's say that we go into camera just as an example. So right now it's turned off. If we head inside of the camera and if I open up this little assistant menu, you can see that it's the exact same ones that we've seen from before. Now, if we go back inside of the settings, we go inside of here and let's say that we turn on the camera one. Now, when we go back inside of the camera, you can see that there's gonna be more over here. I can switch the camera, check out my gallery. Now that's the exact same thing when it comes down to, let's say, uh, messages. And same thing with gallery. So if you go inside of gallery, on the top or right over here, you can go inside your camera really quick because that's one of the other options inside of the gallery. And let's say that we go inside of your phone. Now inside of the phone, when you go inside of here, you can see that it adds in recents, contacts, places, and add to contacts. So let's say that you type in some numbers really quick and this was somebody's uh, phone number. Instead of you trying to figure out where to add it or tap it up right over there, you can just go right here and you can say add to contacts and then you can basically get it added in. So it kind of adds little tools and little shortcuts to do your everyday things. So anytime you wanna go right back inside of the settings, you just open it right back up and go back to settings. Now with this one here, this one used to be separate of assistant menu. This was something I used to turn on on all of my old devices. And actually when I was trying to find single tap to swipe was where I found uh, assistant menu and played with it a little bit more. This one makes it really easy when you have an alarm or an alert or an incoming call. Instead of you swiping to either accept or swiping to deny, a simple tap will answer the phone call or a simple tap will snooze or also uh, stop your alarm that's going off in the morning. The next one is gonna be your transparency. So when it comes down to the transparency, we're talking about how easy or hard you want to see this. Now, I'd have to say that when you put it right over here, um, where it's gonna be very, very transparent, it's a little bit harder to view and see everything that you're wanting to use. And with this one supposed to be a menu to help things and make things a little bit easier, you should wanna put it right over here somewhere so this way it's a little bit easier for you to view the menu and do all of your little tools. You also have your assistant menu size. If you want this to be larger, you can actually make it medium or large. For me, I don't want it to impose on everything I do, so I keep it at its smallest little window there. 
then you can also go into more settings. And then this is where, when you're using some of these features or settings built inside of here, you can see uh, how large your touchpad is, the cursor size, the cursor speed, and then also the, the zoom and the magnifying size. Now, what I mean by all of this here is, let's say that we go inside the gallery and we just wanna look at a picture here. So let's say that we take a look at this picture. When you go up over here, uh, and let's say that you wanted to, I don't know, let's say go with the cursor. So as you go through this, there's a few things you can do. You can even zoom in if you wanna get a closer look at that potatoes, uh, the homemade stuffing, and also the homemade uh, green bean casserole. So there's a lot of things that's kind of built into here and you can go through all the different settings. Uh, so now let's say that we go through up over here and kind of look a little bit of what we're able to do. So with this whole pinch to zoom, let's say that you're inside of uh, an image and you wanna get a little bit closer. You can't use maybe two fingers. Let's say that you're holding onto your phone and you can't really do pinch to zoom. So this is where you can just simply go in and do a pinch to zoom this way because maybe your two fingers are not able to do it. Uh, maybe you're holding the phone. It's just a simple way to basically zoom in. Then let's say that you go right up over here uh, and you wanted to change the brightness. So this is another way that you can change the brightness without having to go to the very top. Uh, so I'm gonna change the brightness just like this. Again, with some simple taps, you'd be able to make any of those little changes. So let's take a quick look at just a couple of the tools that you're able to use. So for example, let's say cursor. This is a way that you're able to move this around, use it kind of like those old Palm Pilots. Uh, let's say that you wanted to go onto the internet, you can go on the internet. Uh, if you move up your cursor right up over here, this is where you're able to zoom up, zoom down. You can go left, you can also go right. Uh, and then let's check out also another one. So let's say that we do this one over here, which is just a screen control. This is where you're able to change the screen. You can go left or right. Um, you can bring uh, up your application tray. You can also bring down your notifications. This is how you're able to move it around is with that little moving icon right there. So if you are curious on how mine is set up on a day-to-day -day basis, I have these six right here. Screen off, volume, screenshots, power options, talk to Bixby, and menu settings. The reason why is because if you have this many right there, that's how many is shown in each screen. So now when I pop up my assistant menu, I only have one to go through and it's these quick tools to use on a day-to-day -day basis. But again, I want to end this video by making sure that you keep this one right here, um, menu settings. So this way you can always go into this menu settings super quick and easy. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.